Good evening. I would like to call to order this emergency meeting of the Board of Education for Baltimore County for Monday, June 27, 2016. Could those members who are with us via telephone please identify yourselves for the record? Thank you. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. The sole purpose of tonight's emergency board meeting is to discuss and consider the uh, contract MWE-803-17, temporary lease space for, Rose, for the Rosedale Center. All board members received the exhibit electronically earlier today, and there are also a copy at the seat here. I would like to I see Mr. Dixon and Mr. Saris at the table. Um, and I'll turn it over to them for the uh, presentation of the issue. Before George and Pete uh, begin, though, let me just express my um, thanks to all the board members for your flexibility um, this evening, and a special thank you to Pete and to Kevin, and then George and Margaret Ann on the back end of negotiating this for us. Um, and so I'll turn it over now to you, George and Pete, but I wanted to say a special thank you to the board for your flexibility. Good evening and thanks again for coming to this meeting today. As you know, the board had approved the construction of Victory Villa School at the current site, and as part of that construction, the students from Victory Villa during construction will move to Rosedale. So that left us to find a space for the students of Rosedale and for that program. We have been talking to a couple of landlords, and the first landlord that we attempted we did not get all of the requirements that we wanted to get from the first landlord. Very recently, in the last couple of days, the second landlord, which is Merit Properties, has agreed uh, to sign a lease with us, subject to your approval, for a place at the Golden Ring Road. So this request is for you to approve the lease for a period of five years in a total amount of 3800000 this total amount includes the construction upgrades that will be required for that space. Uh, our schedule is to start upon your approval and complete the first phase of two-phase project before the school opening. The, the, the second phase, which is about seven to 9,000 square feet out of a total 30,000 square feet, will be completed by November. The student enrollment at this time, um, the, the space that we have will allow for the, all the enrolled students that are anticipated in the first phase of the construction space. And at this point, if you have any questions, I'll be glad to answer. Yes, uh, Mr. Collins, you have some questions? Uh, Pete, uh, Pete um, there's about 40 kids that are uh, going to be in the program at the beginning of the school year from last year, is that correct? The total number that I have is about 48 kids. Yeah. 45 of them from high school so, and so, three of them from middle school. So then from September until November, we won't have any place for any additional children to be assigned. Well, somewhere before, uh, the, 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 the space we have right now appears to be appears to be sufficient for more than 45 or 48 kids because the total program is talking about 17 classrooms and the space that we'll do in the first phase will be a two thirds approximately two thirds of the uh, cl classrooms. So Mr. Collins, we believe we can take up to 100 students to start the year off. Um, we will have the additional square footage that we will That's add great. to get to the school capacity. No, I mean, I, I, mean I, I certainly am totally in support of this, but I'm just, wanted, I just was, wanted to make sure that uh, I guess it's really something you would do, be doing uh, Dallas anyway, but I mean, they, like the principals have to know there's limitations of what we can do with kids, you know? And of course, in the beginning of the year, I imagine, I know, you know, in the beginning of the year, most teachers and administrators t try to set the tone for their building, and if you, so I imagine that's where the, the period of time when there's a lot of activity of trying to find proper placements for children is, what, is all, I'm, all I'm getting at here. Yes, sir. Mr. Yolfeld? Sharon, oh. Mr. I have a question. Go ahead, Ms. Williams. Thank you very much. Um, what's the price difference in this negotiated lease? 
They are approximately within the same cost range. The total cost that we had anticipated, and that was anticipated cost, was 3.5 million. The total cost that we are requesting today is 3.8 million dollar, and it could be a couple of hundred thousand more or less in either case because the construction cost is not finalized. Yeah, and let me add the square foot costs uh, that are appreciably less with this lease. Uh, the base rate of the lease that was approved initially on May 10th by the board was $14.27 as compared with the $6.75 we see here. And then the uh, operating expense component of the lease <coughs> first approved was $2.58 per square foot as compared with $1.64 per square foot here. So the total uh, square foot cost was $16.85 initially uh, compared with uh, $8.39 uh, currently. So, so is, this, is this a bigger the, building? The, a diff the biggest variable here is that we had gone further along with the planning and design and construction of the first property because we had much more time to work through those details. And here, uh, the construction build-out requirements are much uh, more uncertain because we've just recently uh, identified and inspected the property. So out of an abundance of caution, uh, we, we know there'll be more construction involved in total, but we also are less certain of those details. So we've added the $300,000 to the total uh, purchasing authority to allow for that uncertainty. Thank you very much. Uh, Mr. Yofelder? Um, <clears throat> lead me through the construction phase of Victory Villa. And uh, I don't think it's a five-year period. I guess my question is, are, are we saddled with a five-year lease? Uh, if the construction for Victory Villa, let's say, is two or three years, uh, it, do we anticipate moving the kids from the lease premise back into Rosewood Center and then Victory Villa kids who are at the Rosewood Center back into Fail. the new facility? <clears throat> so we're, I mean, the future. So I guess my question is, are, are we locked in on a five-year lease? The future of Rosedale Center after the kids move back to Victoria Villa, we don't know at this time. We are still communicating with the county government. We'll have several options at that time, either to use that as a swing school for future construction projects in, in county, especially in the northeast area, or convert it into some other use. And the final option is to give it back to county. So what do you do with the kids who but we're putting in the lease space at the end of five years. <clears throat> we do the lease. That, that, those kids, okay. oh, after five years? Yeah. Well, uh, we haven't uh, okay. considered that after five years at this point. Anything that I'll be telling you will be purely speculating. Okay. Thank you. Any other questions from board members? No, I'd just like to uh, comment. It's, <clears throat> it's an excellent location. So I think uh, <coughs> I mean, the other location was okay too, but this is even better, I think. Yes, you are. It's closer. Correct. It's closer to uh, where Rose, Rosedale was, and um, it doesn't it doesn't have any downside on the community that I can observe, just by visually knowing where it is. Yeah. I I agree with you. Oh, thank you. Okay, who was that speaking? That uh, Mike Collins, your favorite <laughs> Romaine. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. <laughs> All right. Um, if there are no further questions from board members, I would ask if uh, there is a motion to approve contract MWE 803-17. Good. My year, year to building contracts. Oh. So moved. Is there a second? Oh, I'm sorry. Second. Second. Any discussion at this time? If not, um, all in favor, please signify by raising your hand. 
Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, and I would ask for a vote from uh, Nick and Remain. Uh, say aye. Okay. Nick. Okay. So we have a. Uh, all and I would imagine you would abstain, Miss Quasi. Uh, yes. <laughs> okay. Thank you for. It. All right. The motion carries. Um, so uh, th since this is our only item for this evening, uh, this meeting Move to of the Board of Education is ab adjourned. Jaron, no, before you adjourn, I oh. walked in with uh, Mrs. Eaton, and she was really concerned that we might not have board comments tonight. And I told her <laughs> I would fight for those uh, okay. just for her. Not true. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Our meeting is now adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Okay. Take a